Living in Wyoming, you are inevitably influenced by the landscape. As skiers, we look at the mountains in the distance and see potential. We wonder what it would be like to stand on top of them, what it would be like to ski down. It doesn't take long to be consumed by this wonder. This is our journey through one of the best and worst winters in recent memory. The Teton Range is where we all come together and is the center of ski culture in Wyoming. It is also the place we are proud to call home. When I said it, you gon' gain light I'm so original, yep. keep it traditional uh -huh. Ain't no way that you could ever rock the same mic nope. I know the time and I drop it like it's supposed to be These MCs spit the little raps but ain't none of them close to me none of A lot of hating and even my friends are shouting But I'ma persevere and make fools of those who doubtin' So keep your comments low and be careful when you mention me Cause I'ma find out and wipe you out eventually uh -huh. I'm saying I ain't even violent, I'm a peaceful man if a friend's got a problem, watch me reach my hand I'm the type to get it right from the get-go And never let go of this mic until my death toll I'm out for escrow and rocking a fresh show Nowadays, what else are you gonna get respect for? People get up and move Let your body do the talking when you get in the groove I'm saying, if you feel it, it dance Put your hands in the air and get caught in the trance It's like, People get up and move Let your body do the talking when you get in the groove I'm saying hey. If you feeling it, dance Put your hands in the air and get caught in the trance Yeah I want pills, money deals, and meals With chicks who wear six inch heels up in the hills uh -huh. It's hard so I gotta stay medicated Dealing with these people in the game who ain't educated and I ain't even talking about school Some people stupid at life and content to be fools I never let them get to me They'll never get the best of me I'm live from head to toe See, epic, know the recipe Got an affinity for beats and rhymes And a skill to get ill My disease is limes My bambata's damn hot Can't stop the jam rock Enough respect to all of my vapors We got the landlocked down 
Run the game like Tiki Barber Don't even bother Cause I'll son you like the father I'm nice And there's no way that you could say I ain't That's like saying Paul Wall Don't like candy paint People get up and move Let your body do the talking When you get in the room I'm saying If you feel it, it dance Put your hands in the air And get caught in the trance It's like People get up and move Let your body do the talking When you get in the groove I'm saying If you feel it, it dance Put your hands in the air And get caught in the trance Creatures known as a moose. But right now, it's time to go elsewhere. See what else is out in the wild Wyoming backcountry. Second to Hawaii, Wyoming is the happiest state in the nation. It is the least populated state and the tenth largest. It's the windiest state. Wyoming is also the second highest state. 56% of the state is public land. These factors make Wyoming the perfect place for our journey. For years we had heard the rumors, 10,000 foot peaks and endless terrain just off the road. It sounds easy, right? We had no idea what we were getting into. We've uh, spent about four days exploring the area and we've been putting some really long days in back here, coming out after dark, eight or nine o'clock at night. We spent most of yesterday and already two hours this morning getting to the zone. Same plan as last time, get in <laughs> quickly and efficiently without getting stuck. We're gonna see. Well, this is number what? 12? 5,000. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Stuck for about the 16th time. Make a snow cave, we got some gasoline and matches, so we should be set. Hopefully a plane will see our fires. <laughs> Right up here on this horizon line is skiing that we dream about.
think this is a, a real lesson in perseverance to keep trying, keep pushing on. Shaping in Wyoming requires creativity, but with the right mindset, the Family Ranch offered plenty of features.
What is that? Did like a home base slide through some horse manure, man. This is what happens when you're jibbing in Wyoming. Yellowstone is world famous for its wildlife and geothermal features. It's not known for its skiing. Teddy Roosevelt, after touring the park on skis, said, it's for the benefit and enjoyment of the people. According to the park service records, we were the only ones to enjoy camping in Yellowstone that winter. Trucked all of our gear. Here's a lot of it. Here's some of it on the back. Hopefully we make it to camp. Just coming back for round two on the way up. First round was a, just a short 30 minute skin in. Turned about an hour and a half after a detour. And uh, luckily we got the light of the full moon here. Top of the morning to you. First the word was cold. Go! <laughs> and as soon as I got up and looked around, it was like so amazing. Great skiing up there, Max. How about a nutritious snack and a sip of yerba mate? Sounds good. Yeah, typical morning. Start off with the two man boot insertion. Hey! It's Trevor Hyatt rolls up with nothing but power and aggressiveness, taking it to the hill. I think it's the wild organic Alaskan salmon he's been eating. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, what we really about is taking the game up to the next level, screaming the name of you know why, why, why. If you see your mind go the way, sign them on the big job, we style, teach you how to fly, fly, fly. Yeah, what we really about is taking the game up to the next level, screaming the name of you know why, why
to the next level, screaming the name, but you know why, why, why? I hate to see your mind go the way it's time to motivate y'all. Be the size, I'll teach you how to fly, fly, fly. Hope we're really bad at taking the game. Up to the next level, screaming the name, but you know why, why, why? I hate to see your mind go the way it's time to motivate y'all. Be the size, I'll teach you how to fly, fly, fly. Not a lot of people get to come out in winter camping, much less in this this untouched zone. It's been all winter snowing and blowing up here, and, and we're the first people to get to come up and explore that. It's really rewarding to me. Day five, this morning we got up and got to ski one line, and then the storm kind of came in, so we were taking an opportunity to go explore uh, the remnants of a fire from 1988 that burned a huge part of Yellowstone. thing about being out here is like there's terrain for days and in any kind of weather and, and I think luckily we we're able to get out in it and experience it and skiing it the way I guess I'm pretty sure no one else has it's hard to describe it's definitely one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life absolutely having the time of my life the time of my life and I never felt this way before Gravants are a lesser known range to the east, with a microclimate that could produce feet of snow out of the blue. A lack of popularity certainly does not mean a lack of possibilities. Never been here before. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm not even really sure where we are, but I know we're near the Wind Rivers. We're kind of near Pinedale. Uh, pretty stoked to check it out. A lot of snowmobilers around. I think they're staring at us. It's dumping snow out here. It's gorgeous. Conditions could not be better. It's super soft. We're having the time of our life. Smiles everywhere, and this is. This is what we live for.
As you cross the Great Plains, the Bighorns are literally the first mountain range you run into. We had no idea what the skiing was going to be like there, and things got a little weird. Making a movie about skiing. About skiing? Yeah. There's not much of that up here. Sometimes when you look at lines out here, it can be real deceiving. They're a little bigger than you expect. That one was a lot smaller. <laughs> formations here are so different from the Tetons and any other mountain ranges in Wyoming. There's some uh, incredibly unique features. You kind of got to find them and just try to make the most out of it. We don't have the snow we were hoping for up here, so it, it's really limiting on what we can do. Creativity is definitely coming into play here, and uh, it's making something out of nothing and just having fun with your friends. if there'd be snow or not, we headed to Devil's Tower. The place is sacred to Native Americans and is the nation's first national monument. This is by far one of the smallest urban jumps I've ever hit. It's pretty sick. <laughs> My home is on the Bighorn Mountain. My home is on the Bighorn Mountain. My home is on the Bighorn Mountain. I ain't coming back here anymore. Grab a fifth of Bacardi. I'll grab a 44 40. We'll go out to the dump and shoot a TV. And I ain't coming back here anymore. Aunt Labina was an Oki. Trish Trash Queen of Karaoke. She howled like a pack of damn coyotes. 
government trap with Bet Midler. Oh my god, dude. Trevor! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Do you see him? He's in there. Go search. After that, I'm thinking like I don't really want to ski. That was the most scary thing I've ever witnessed in my life. clipping a rock, blew my knee. We're not sure just how bad. I tore my abductor muscles. I tore cartilage in both my hips. Had this thing called a Lefort three fracture where you literally you break your uh, both your orbitals and your jaw away from your skull. I would not say I'm feeling 100%. Maybe in a week or two I'll feel 100%. My knee's just not there, man. Injuries come out of nowhere when you least expect it. In the moment it feels devastating and heartbreaking, but it's really just a chance to refocus on what you truly love and come back even stronger. Next thing I know, I was knocked out and waking up, my knee hurting and my head throbbing. Part of the job description as a skier is, is to also be a pro at physical training and rehabilitation. There's a lot of anxiety involved with injuring yourself, coming back to your sport, facing potentially injuring yourself again. Got surgery the following day. Now, it's the summer of rehab. There's been a lot of people telling me it's you might lose the drive to get back on your skis and give her if you're out for six months, but if anything, I think it's just kind of made me more determined. <laughs> you're like getting stronger. Trevor Hyatt, watch out. The Wyoming range is a range we come back to over and over again. We would always see more terrain, more peaks. It was hard to leave it. We had to come back. It had so much potential. So this is attempt number four on the Grays River Range. The sweet part about this place is that I don't think anyone's ever really skied back here, and part of the reason is because you got to be basically a pro redneck in order to get up in the hills. This is what we got. And this is only a fragment. So Rob's smoothing out this path so we can all get our sleds up this across the river. Cold. Definitely not going as smoothly as we planned. We got a branch in the road. <laughs> yeah, I'd say today was pretty much a botch. We're coming back to the mighty Wyoming range. It's the place we want to be. We just need to make sure we're here at the right time. So tomorrow, hopefully, is the right time. Here we go. One step at a time, don't be living on the line. I don't need a friend. I got more than on the mind. Sunshine in my brain, making everyone complain. Radio in the heart.
it's 5 a.m. Just uh, leaving my house and heading to the Pillar Zone. Beautiful wild in the morning out here, Pepper. Well, we got some trailer sway going on here, Pepper. Serious trailer sway. This is the fourth time that we've been up here. We're shut down every time, but today we finally got it. It's a sweet victory. The road through Yellowstone opens in the spring, and we like to take advantage of that to access some high alpine terrain in the Absaroka Range. The journey begins. 
we are entering Yellowstone. Teton sunrise, absolutely beautiful. Look at that, that's what makes it all worth it. You just look around and this gorgeous backdrop where you find yourself and where your life is going and it just feels good, it feels like the right spot to be. Simple, keep it simple. It's hard, you know, getting up that early, working, trying to pay your bills. 
stressed out, whatever, all you gotta do is just push through, get up and see this, and it's all worth it. Wonder is there to inspire us. Adventure is where you choose to find it. Exploring Wyoming is a lifelong process. And we've barely skimmed the surface. But in a state this vast, I'd call that a triumph. Trickle down economics happening here in Teton County. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think this is supposed to be in the gas tank. You know, I like Yellowstone, but there's just too many goddamn animals. Skiing and metalworking are uh, a lot alike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, no, I don't mean to laugh. Take the tram, go to Jackson Hole. Can't tell. What is real anymore? I think just a few more miles to go. The long and lonely road leads to dusty trails in the end. Come on, bring it around now. Go shake it up. No, no. What? Was that Get good? Get it right! <laughs> <laughs>